welcome back to another one of the screencast. This one is on 3D shapes. Can you believe it or not? It's really simple. All we need to do is learn the shapes. And if we learn the shapes, we are a way away. So we don't need to be good at maths, which is really good, I think. Whatever, uh, what is a 3D shape? Whatever you can touch is 3D shape. Shoot the shapes to take uh, up space. And only a 3D shape or object can occupy its own space. For example, no other human can stand where you're standing now or sit or lie or whatever you're doing or run. You could be running. Uh, in mathematics, there are a number of standard 3D shapes such as spheres, cubes, prisms, cones and pyramids. And we're going to take a look at those bad boys today. So really, really simple. Uh, here's some examples of shapes. We call them the earth or a present or a punching bag or a human, but actually that's there to say, you just need to work hard to remember. But actually in mathematics, we call them some other things, okay, in which we've gone over. So here's some examples for you. Triangular prism, that's what it looks like. It's got a triangle shape on the front, a triangular shape on the back. Cylinder, so this is like a water bottle or something along those lines, okay. There you go. Cube, so like a square that has equal length sides, a cube has equal length sides also. We call them different things. These are actually called edges, okay? And they're all the same length. We have a name for something that doesn't have all the same length, like a rectangular shape, but in 3D form. And that's a cuboid, so you can see there that this side here is actually longer than this side here, and that's why we call that one a cuboid. We've got a sphere. I love saying sphere. It's like a ball. We've got a cone, and like an ice cream cone. i um, big fan of ice cream, if you know me, um, then you'll probably understand why. That's because I'm fat. That's a cone shape, okay? And then we move on to a square-based prism. Now, I always think, a pyramid, sorry. I always think with these things, you know, I went to Egypt, I saw the pyramids. Well, it's like those. I can't remember, I think that pyramids are square-based pyramids as well. And there you go. It's a square a shape at the bottom and then it goes up to a point at the top and last but not least is a pentagonal prism okay so we've got the shape pentagon shape uh here okay just like we had um over here we had a triangular prism on this one we have a, a pentagon shape at the front and at the back um i'm gonna do this not very well <laughs> you get the picture anyway um and then consistency throughout so no those are it that's the uh, all the shapes that we need to remember uh, my top tip to you would be just to go about remembering them and draw them out, put the names, cover them up, and then come back and see if you can remember them. Because that's that's all you're going to need to do is uh, to maybe there be the shape there and you need to be able to name it. So anyway, here goes the quizzes up next. Remember, it's just hard work, memory and hard work. Okay, so there's our brain. We've got to work our brain to remember the stuff. And like a memory stick, if we remember it, it's there. We just have to learn how to get it. Okay, here's the quiz. Copy out the shapes and name them and then come back and see if you've got them right. Okay, so hopefully you've had some time to do that. Here we go. Here are all the names of all those shapes. First one is a pick pentagonal prism, a cone, a cuboid, a cube, a sphere, a cylinder, a square base pyramid, and last but not least, my favorite of all of them, is a triangular prism. And that is it, guys and girls. So to just make sure this doesn't leave your brain, you need to do a revision card on it. I'd definitely just take the last slide on one side and the answers on the other side. You don't necessarily need to copy out all the shapes again on the reverse side, but it'd be go down well if you did. Anyway, until next time, it's been an absolute pleasure. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and you get better at maths. That's what these are all about. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey.